Hello everyone, this is JP Yepes from Quito, Ecuador, and this is my presentation for Introduction to Music Production Week 2. Today we're gonna review how to effectively create a compile from multiple audio recordings in Logic Pro 10. Before even considering editing, takes and comps, I think it is extremely important to start with a project checklist. Make sure your settings are okay. Create the appropriate tracks, label them and record enable them. Be careful about feedback. Set the appropriate levels using the microphone preamp in your audio interface and don't forget about the click and count of preferences. Now we should be ready to lay down some tracks. We will start with a fairly standard and simple procedure to create a comp track. By following the simple steps, you will be able to create the perfect track using the DAW of your choice, not just Logic. As you can see, I have already recorded a few takes, so it is time to create an audio track to compile them. It is a good idea to select no audio input, since it will not be used for actual recording. Record enabling it will not be necessary. Don't forget to name this track. There are several ways to select the best parts of each take and to copy them to the comp track. Whether you like using the scissors tool, the marquee selection tool, or maybe even resizing and moving your tracks around, the result will be the same. Now that we have our comp track, it will be necessary to add some crossfades to avoid noise, clicks or pops during playback. It is important to create them across the edge of each region, keeping them as short as possible. Let's check it out! And that's our first contract. I would also like to mention Logic Pro's features when it comes to working with different takes and comping. First of all, let's take a look at what happens when you record audio on top of an already existing take. Logic Pro creates take folders where it stores all the recorded takes so we can work with them later on. Each take can be previewed below the audio track where it was recorded. These are the three takes I want to work with. And this is where the process gets considerably easier. Quick swipe editing allows Logic users to drag the mouse cursor over each take to select the parts we want to keep. This contract seems to be good enough, so all that is left is to flatten and merge it. So that about wraps it up. Thank you for watching, I really hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.